Unmasking the Digital Shadow Detective Claire Monroe sat alone in her dimly lit office, staring at the evidence board that covered one entire wall. A tangled web of photos, newspaper clippings, and digital records chronicled her relentless pursuit of a serial killer who had terrorized the city for the past two years. It was a case that had consumed her every waking moment and haunted her dreams at night. The digital shadow, as the media had dubbed the elusive murderer, had claimed the lives of ten innocent victims so far. Each crime was meticulously executed, and there was never a trace of physical evidence left behind. The killer was cunning, operating entirely in the digital realm, leaving the police with nothing but a trail of encrypted messages and cryptic symbols. Claire had become obsessed with solving the case, working tirelessly to decipher the digital shadow's patterns and unravel the hidden messages. She was determined to bring this murderer to justice and end the reign of terror that had gripped the city. As she sat there, lost in thought, her partner, Detective Jake Anderson, barged into the room. He was known for his quick wit and impulsive nature, a stark contrast to Claire's meticulous and analytical approach. Hey, Claire, Jake said, tossing a crumpled piece of paper onto her desk. I found this in the evidence room. It's from our digital whiz kid, Mike. Claire unfolded the paper, her eyes scanning the hastily written message. It contained a list of IP addresses and a note that read, possible leads on the digital shadow. Claire's heart raced with anticipation. She knew that breaking the digital shadow's code was the key to capturing the killer. With renewed determination, she and Jake set out to follow the trail of digital breadcrumbs. Their pursuit took them deep into the labyrinth of the dark web, where the digital shadow had left traces of his online activities. Claire and Jake spent countless hours decrypting encrypted messages, tracing back through virtual tunnels, and confronting layers of anonymity. With each step, they uncovered new facets of the killer's identity, leaving them simultaneously awed by his digital prowess and horrified by his crimes. As days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, Claire and Jake's personal lives began to unravel. Their pursuit of the digital shadow had consumed them, causing strain in their relationships with family and friends. But they couldn't afford to stop. The city was in a state of perpetual fear, and the body count continued to rise. One fateful night, after hours of tireless work, Claire and Jake finally broke through one of the digital shadow's encrypted messages. It contained a series of cryptic symbols that led them to a hidden chat room where the killer had been communicating with his victims. The message also provided a time and location for the next meeting. Claire and Jake knew they had to act fast. They traced the IP address to a remote location on the outskirts of the city and requested backup from the SWAT team. With their hearts pounding, they arrived at the address just in time to catch the digital shadow in the act. The standoff was tense, and the killer's digital prowess was on full display as he attempted to hack into the police communication network. But Claire's unwavering determination and Jake's quick thinking led to the killer's capture. In the end, it was a classic physical pursuit that led to the capture of a digital predator. As the handcuffs were placed on the digital shadow, Claire couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions, relief, triumph, and a sense of closure. But she also knew that their work was far from over. 
The trial that followed was a high, stakes battle, with the killer's defense team arguing that his actions were mere digital mischief. Claire, however, was determined to prove that his actions had real, world consequences. The trial dragged on for months, and the weight of the case took its toll on Claire and Jake. But their dedication and the mountain of evidence they had collected ultimately led to a conviction. The digital shadow was sentenced to life in prison, and the city breathed a collective sigh of relief. With the case finally closed, Claire and Jake returned to their office one last time to take down the evidence board that had become a symbol of their obsession. As they removed each photo, each clue, they couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had brought them here. In the end, the story of Claire Monroe's pursuit of the digital shadow was not just a tale of a detective's relentless determination to catch a killer. It was a story of the indomitable human spirit, of the ability to adapt and overcome in the face of ever, evolving challenges. It was a reminder that even in the digital age, the human touch and unwavering dedication of those who seek justice can prevail. As Claire and Jake walked out of the office, they knew that the world would always be full of shadows, but they would continue to shine a light on the darkness, determined to bring every villain to justice. They were the heroes who stood against the digital shadow, a testament to the power of perseverance, collaboration, and unwavering resolve. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to learn English through watching these kinds of interesting stories daily. Please click on the screen on any video showing on your screen to watch it next. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video till the end.